In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a signable web form, otherwise known as a widget. Widgets are really easy to set up and are great for use cases like job application forms or registration forms, anything that has a fairly simple workflow. From within the application, click on Create Widget. I'm going to enter a name for the widget here, Sample Form, and I'm going to select that I want to countersign the widget. I'm going to upload a form, a PDF that I've already created, and then check this box here and click Create. So this takes me to the drag and drop environment, and this is where I add all the fields that I want to include on my web form. First of all, you'll notice here under Select Participant that I have Widget Signer selected. So this means that the fields I'm dragging on right now will all be completed by whomever is completing and signing the widget once it has been created and shared. So now I'm going to switch over participants to myself, Very, and because I want to countersign this document, I'm going to drag a signature field on for myself, and then I click Save. So here we have the result of our widget. This is how the web form or widget will look when it is being completed. Here is the code that we use to share the widget. We can copy and paste this code if we want to post the widget on a web page, or we can copy this code here and then share this with any recipient via email, for example, and then they can complete and sign the form online. So I'm going to copy this code and paste it into a browser to show the signer's experience. This is what comes up. So whoever has access to this can simply fill in the required information and then add their signature. and you'll notice that the name has auto-populated up here. And once the signer clicks to sign, they'll get this message telling them to check their email because the signing process cannot be completed until the recipient has verified their identity via their email. So this is what the email looks like and the signer will just click here to verify their email address. And now I'm going back to my account where I created the widget and it's waiting for me to countersign it. So I'm just double clicking to open the form and I can apply my signature. And now the form has been fully completed and executed by all parties.